everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys 10 art hacks that will make your jobs of drawing and painting a lot easier and also help you to save some money as well. So let's get right into it with tip number one and this tip is when you're painting instead of just having one jar of water try having two jars of water and this makes it a lot easier because you don't have to go and empty your water all the time because if you use the first jar to get rid of most of your paint and just give it a quick clean in the second jar then as you can see the second jar stays really really clean which means that you don't have to keep going and emptying your water and changing it and you can just leave it there and have one set of water during your painting which just makes it a lot more efficient for you guys. So tip number two is to help you save money on your blending supplies. So when I normally blend colour pencil I like to use a paintbrush but you can use a cotton bud and you can use this to also blend graphite. So if you just have cotton buds then you can use this to blend both your colour pencil and your graphite. Another good thing to use for blending graphite is tissue as well as that is really cheap as well. So you don't need to have tortillions and stumps and all these different methods of blending. You can just use a cotton bud and a tissue and these are things that are normally a available in everyone's houses anyway. So I really like using cotton buds to blend colour pencils, I think it gives a really smooth look and you can have a bit more control sometimes than you can with paint brushes and because it's really small it's really good for blending those detailed areas and stuff like that. And also they're just really cheap which means that you can use quite a few of them and it doesn't really matter because they're cheap anyway. Okay, so moving on to tip number three, and this is just another little tip for saving money. So a lot of people use kneaded erasers to remove and create highlights and also erase some of their pencil drawings, but you can use blue tack and this is really cheap and you'll probably have it around your house and it does a very similar job. As you can see, you can use it to lighten your sketch, which I do all the time. So when I do my outline for my sketches, I like to go in with a bit of blue tack and just lift the extra graphite off the paper so that I don't have to worry about it getting muddied up with my colored pencils and stuff like that but you can also use it to create highlights and also erase the pencil completely. So as you can see with that line I drew I was able to erase it all but it won't be able to erase really dark pencil but if your pencil is quite light then it will be able to erase it completely and as you can see you can really easily create highlights with it because with blue tack very much like a kneaded eraser you can mold it into specific shapes so if you need to do specific like a highlight in the eyes for example you can mold your blue tack into that shape and just pull off the graphite from there. And also if you create a large flat area with the blue tack you can use that to erase and lighten up a whole section. So the next tip is instead of using a light box which can be quite expensive if you have a PC or a laptop or computer or something like that you can use that to directly transfer any image that you want onto a piece of paper. So if you need to transfer an image quickly if you're on a deadline or if you have already sketched out a plan of the image you want to do and you want to transfer it onto some nicer paper then you can go and you can scan it or get the image off the internet and then you can transfer it onto your piece of paper and what's really good is that that if you put your monitor up to full brightness and turn all your lights off you'll be able to see through even really thick papers so I use this method sometimes with watercolour paper if I need to transfer a sketch that I've done in my sketchbook onto the watercolour paper and some of my paper has been like 640 GSM which is really really thick and I've still been able to see through it. So tip number five is to do with blending colour pencils and I normally like to use solvent to blend or use burnishing but if you don't have solvent or you find it too expensive then you might have some of this around the house so you can also use baby oil and even though this isn't as archival as the others so if you're selling your work I wouldn't recommend doing this method if you're just practicing and you want to get a feel for blending colour pencils then this is a really good thing to use if you're just starting out because it is really cheap and it's really readily available so you can get it from any of your local supermarkets or shops they'll probably stock this and it doesn't really matter what type of baby oil it is but it's really good at blending out both wax based and oil based pencils. So this is just a really cheap alternative which means that you can get to grips with using this straight away and I'm using a paintbrush here but you can also use a cotton bird like I showed you before and that will give you the same result and it's really easy to control. One thing that you've got to be aware of is that oil tends to like to spread on the paper so I can see oil patches when I've done this and I let it dry the oil tended to spread a bit but if you're covering the whole of the page with it then you won't really notice at all and this will take just a bit of experimenting. The less oil you use the less that you are to get those oil patches show through. 
And then I'm just adding an additional layer on top to show you that you can layer this. So moving on to tip number six, and this is to do with storing your art supplies. So when I'm storing my colored pencils and my markers and all my paintbrushes and stuff like that, I like to use this chest with all these drawers because it just makes it really easier instead of having like colored pencils, they come in layers and you have to lift them on top of each other to get to the different colors. Whereas with this, they're just drawers that are pulled out, which means that it saves space because they're all toweled on top of each other and you don't have to worry about lifting layers of the color pencils off each other to get to the color you want so it just makes it easier and a bit more efficient to do this so I really like it as well because you can just pull the drawer open and pick the colored pencil that you want and easily put it back without having to rummage through and have loads of different boxes and packaging everywhere and it's nice to have all of your different art supplies in one place so my next hack is to make your own tortillion. So tortillion is rolled paper that you can use to shade your graphite. And it's really good because when you make the tortillion, you get a really fine point, which means you can get a lot of detail and shade in little detailed areas. So what I'm doing is I'm just cutting out a rectangle with some general printer paper, and I'm doing this as a six by four inch rectangle. And then I just cut off the corner and start rolling it. So I'm just measuring out those sides and it doesn't have to be perfect, you can change the lengths up if you want and see what works best for you. And these are good because if you make them really well then they can last a long time. Or you can just do it to make a makeshift tortillion if you haven't got yours on you. So I'm just cutting out the corner and then I start to roll it and the tighter you roll it the better it's going to be really. So I tried to roll it as tightly as I could. And I did this really quickly within a couple of minutes so it doesn't take you long at all to make it and the more time you use practicing to make these the better you'll get. I then just cut off the excess bit of paper so it wasn't too long and was a bit more easily manageable to use and I just added a bit of tape so that it didn't unravel at the top but I made sure that I didn't apply the tape down at the bottom because that's where you're blending with. And now I've just put a patch of charcoal on the paper to show you how it blends. And I'm just using the end of the tortillion that I made. And as you can see, it's really good at just smoothing out that graphite. And it's a lot better than using your fingers because if you use your fingers, then you get grease on the paper, which isn't very good for archival reasons. But it also means that your fingers don't get dirty. Okay, so hack number eight is that when you're doing a sketch, and sometimes when you're doing a sketch like this, this is a very realistic cat that I drew earlier, and if you wanna just see the main outlines for your sketch, and it can be hard when there's just so much detail. So I like to use a website called ipicky.com, and I like to use this and use the filter called Pencil Sketch, and I just use this at full strength and fade it a bit so you can still see some of the colors showing through. But as you can see, when I use it, it just really highlights the main outlines. So it's a lot easier to focus on those outlines rather than just seeing all this massive detail. And, it's, and it makes it a bit less overwhelming. So it's really good to do that. And then I just apply that filter and I save it. And then I just use that as the reference to do my pencil sketch with rather than just looking at the whole of the photo. So hack number nine is to use a white colored pencil under your watercolor to preserve some highlights. So if you've got an area that you really want white and you wanna make sure that you don't get watercolor on it and you just wanna make it white, then I just apply a bit of wax based colored pencil. So I'm adding my Caran d'Ache Luminance white colored pencil. And then when you go over the top of it with the watercolor, the water won't really wanna overlap with the wax. So you can really easily remove it from that wax layer and you'll still see the white underneath because it won't settle on the wax and there's no paper underneath it for it to settle to so it'll just settle around the wax rather than on the wax and as you can see once I let it settle there's no watercolor on the actual color pencil where I applied it so my last hack for today is that if you're doing watercolors or even with color pencils anything where you're using a wet medium on top of it so with color pencils I like to use solvent which is wet and also with watercolors or any type of painting I really like to tape down my paper to the desk because this really helps avoid buckling and warping. And even with colored pencils, if you're using quite a thin material, so quite a thin paper, and you're applying solvent on top of your colored pencils, then you might get a bit of buckling. So if you tape it around all of the sides, then this really helps prevent that. Anyway guys, those are all the art hacks that I have for you guys today. If you're not subscribed to my channel and you enjoyed this video, then I have a lot more videos like this and also tutorials and stuff like that. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on them. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I'll leave links to my social media sites in the description below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!